Some animals are on the brink of extinction, and it is extremely rare to get a glimpse of some of them. Have you ever heard of the golden tiger? What about the kakapo? If you want to see animals you have probably never heard of or seen before, stick around as we look at 10 animals that will no longer be part of this world. Number 10. Roti Island Snake Neck Turtle Roti Island Snake Neck Turtles once lived on the small island of Roti in Indonesia. Today, the species is thought to be extinct in the wild mainly because of the wildlife pet trade. Work has begun to save and re-establish the turtles in the wild, but to be able to do that, experts need to map the DNA of the individuals that are currently held in the European EEP program. There are 150 turtles in the program, and scientists need to take DNA samples from about 70 to 80 of them. This species is medium-sized in comparison to other turtles in its family. They range in color from light gray-brown to chestnut brown. The head and neck are darker than the shell and have rough spiky projections. The carapace is tough and brown in color. The yellow bottom shell broadens as it approaches the tail. Females are bigger and heavier than males. The carapace is hard and brown in color. The iris is black with yellow rims and the neck is about two-thirds the length of the carapace. The snake neck turtle feeds on fish, tadpoles, water plants, insects such as water striders and plankton. The long neck and strong jaw aid in quickly capturing prey. Feral pigs, wading birds, and water rats frequently consume them. Number 9. Sea Otter Despite the recovery being hailed as a major achievement in marine conservation, sea otters continue to be listed as endangered due to their susceptibility to a wide range of human-caused dangers. Otters are indeed very smart. They will take a rock to the surface only if they need it to open tough shells like clams. And they will turn over and dump the rock as soon as they are done. These otters relax in the water in this video, grooming themselves as they lay on their backs, floating and removing whatever ticks they have. They are really adorable. It's like being at the otter spa. Sea otters have an active lifestyle. They usually dive for prey in deep water and collect the catch from the bottom in a peculiar pocket formed by the fold of the skin and located under the left foreleg. A similar pocket is located under the right paw too, but sea otters do not use it because according to observations, they are all right-handed. Number 8. Black-Footed Cat Black-footed cats may resemble your average house cat, but they're positively unique. As the smallest African species, black-footed cats are naturally rare and considered vulnerable on the IUCN Red List of Endangered Species. Visitors to the San Diego Zoo Safari Park can get a glimpse of this secretive pair in Nairobi Village next to the Fennec Fox. Primed like a spring, black-footed cats can deliver maximum power to jump. The cat hits its target 60% of the time. It's what makes black-footed cats the most lethal hunters in the entire cat family. Now isn't that an amazing fact not many people knew about? They may look like house cats, but these tiny felines are actually the smallest wild cats in Africa and one of the most successful hunters. Guided by superb night vision and responding to the smallest of sounds, this cat finds almost anything that moves is a potential meal. It will even eat locusts but prefer gerbils. Number 7. Sage Grouse Male greater sage grouse strut, fan out their tail feathers and swell their breasts to attract a hen. Unfortunately, oil and gas development, overgrazing, sagebrush removal and wind energy have taken a toll on the bird's habitat. If you've never seen a greater sage grouse dance, you're missing out on one of the most bizarre yet captivating mating rituals in the bird world. Each spring, male greater sage grouse assemble on traditional breeding grounds known as lex to compete for the right to breed with the females. In this video, male greater sage grouse strut their stuff on a lek. The burp sounds occur when males inhale or exhale air from their vocal sac. A few attractive males will mate with almost all the females that visit the lek, and most males will not mate at all. Females raise the young on their own. With a fancy fan of tail feathers, bright yellow eye combs, and magnificent plumage, male sage grouses bring enough dazzle that their gourdship displays to put a peacock to shame. Number 6. Golden Tiger 
A golden tiger, also known as a golden tabby tiger or strawberry tiger, is a tiger with a recessive gene that causes color variants. It is a color form, not a different subspecies like white and black tigers. The golden tiger gets its color from a recessive mutation called white band, which impairs the formation of black during the hair growth cycle. It's known for its blonde or pale golden tint and red-brown stripes. Tigers in colors other than the standard orange with black stripe pattern do exist in nature, although only in a small percentage. There are less than 30 of these rare tigers left in the world, but there are many more carriers of the gene. While the color has no official name, it is sometimes referred to as the strawberry tiger because of its strawberry blonde coloration. Number 5. Pangolin when you first see a pangolin, it looks like an armored prehistoric vehicle. This is one weird looking animal. This animal who happens to look like an artichoke is the world's most trafficked mammal, so it may not be around forever. When it is alive, the pangolin likes to eat ants, termites, and larvae. They are known as the scaly anteater. Pangolins do not have any teeth, so they pick up their food with their sticky tongues, which can sometimes be awfully long. This adorable video of a pangolin rolling about in the mud in Namibia is the perfect way to get into the spirit of World Pangolin Day. People need to show these pangolins some love if they are going to be saved. Number 4. Gharial Gharials are one of the longest species of crocodile and they can grow up to 20 feet from the tip of their snout to the end of their tail. Scientists have been breeding gharials since 1989 and have sent them to zoos across India and abroad. They have played a lead role in establishing the Gharial Conservation Alliance, now known as the Gharial Ecology Project. Gharials are among the world's rarest reptiles, with their species critically endangered. Their small snouts, which contain sensory cells that help them detect vibrations in the water, are well specialized for hunting. Apart from their extraordinarily lengthened narrow snouts, gharials have a classic crocodilian form. Scales that are smooth and do not overlap cover them. Gharials are highly specialized predators and their nose, while strange to us, is well fitted to catch the gharials' preferred meal, fish, as you can see in this video. Number 3. Sumatran Orangutan Australia's Perth Zoo Sumatran Orangutan has been named the world's oldest Sumatran Orangutan in captivity by the Guinness Book of World Records. Orangutans in Sumatra are called Person of the Forest in Malay, yet they are in grave risk of extinction. These Sumatran orangutans are quite big and they are extremely intelligent, probably some of the most intelligent beings on the planet after humans. It's a shame they are endangered and could possibly disappear if we don't do anything about it. Zookeepers treated this orangutan family to lots of fun birthday-themed enrichment, including a cake made out of low-starch monkey biscuits topped with sugar-free pudding and jello and presents filled with hay and edamame. This enrichment was not only fun for the whole family, but also helped encourage natural behaviors like foraging. Number 2. Kakapo The kakapo is a type of parrot native to New Zealand that does not fly. It's the world's heaviest parrot, weighing in at 5 pounds. It can live up to 90 years, much like many other parrots. Nonetheless, the species is critically endangered. These strange parrots evolved in a world where there were no terrestrial predators. When humans and their animals arrived, however, everything changed. Kakapos are now largely confined to a predator-free restoration recovery program on small islands. Watch this parrot hop in the forest. Although it can't fly, it still runs quite fast. To eat its favorite food up high in the trees, it must climb the tree to get to it. It does not allow its grounded state to slow it down, however. It has evolved into a formidable climber. The incredible creature employs this extremely useful ability to locate food in the forest. Number 1. Irish Wolfhound Considered by the American Kennel Club to be the tallest of all dog breeds, the Irish Wolfhound is remarkable in combining power and swiftness with keen sight. The demand for Irish Wolfhounds fell as the country's wolf and elk populations declined. By the 1800s, the number of these dogs had already begun to drastically decrease and the UK Kennel Club has just recently included them to its most endangered list. This Irish Wolfhound is full of energy and pep and just wants to have a good time with his owner, who gives him a few treats for his good behavior. You can see how big the dog is next to this woman. Have you ever seen so many Irish Wolfhounds running in the forest this way? Some of those blue-gray hues are incredible. It's sad to see so many animal species disappear every year. Some of these animals can still be saved, so let's do our part. 
Which one was your favorite? Why don't you let us know in the comments below? Well, that's our look at 10 animals that will no longer be a part of this world. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and let us know in the comments what you think. Check out our other videos and subscribe to be part of the fun. Click on the notification icon so you can see our new videos as soon as they're uploaded. That's it for now.